welcome back to On the Branch. Jamie, go ahead and give us your uh, your musings about recent events. Um. Okay. So I'm checking everything. Um. My thought process. It's not a very good one. Uh, I basically just panicked and I didn't want to kill Sybil. And I figured maybe I should try things again. Like, because I, I really didn't want to kill her. So I was like, eh, maybe I have to get it in her bloodstream or something. And then there was the big ash gash on her back. And I'm like, did I cause that? Did I pull the Steve Urkel? Did I do that? <laughs> uh, but no, I did not. And, uh, turns out that's where the fucking creepy ass, like, ugh, slug worm infesting thing was. So in summary, Jamie is insisting that, that we did not spoil things for her, that she did figure that out on her okay, own. This is a yeah. death, <clears throat> this is a very new point of view. You're on the catwalk. It is the back of Harry's head. Yep, that's a pretty novel camera angle. You can see um, every little li piece of lice. Cut scene? It brings new meaning to um, hex so trolls. What is it a elevator? What could be making things like this? Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I have Probably the crazy duck the lip lady. Now. I'll find it. Yeah, you're going down. Why not this, eat This is kind of a little like creeping me out, though. <laughs> like. It's it's, so. an, it's an odd thing to kind of explain. It's like I've I've kind of like had a dream like this, and I've never played this game before or seen it played before. This. Well, this sort of Fun thing, fact. the the elevator literally to hell, I think, is a pretty common trope. Not not horror. necessarily like so. the elevator to hell. I mean, like the whole like that spe almost specific pathway into a room, <clears> kind of <throat> like that. I I guarantee you, there are horror movies that have probably done similar things. I so mean, you I might be know, conflating it. I haven't seen that many horror movies. Like, aside from a, like a couple really like super B-rated movies. Um, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, being that you're out of ammo. And like other like super like popular horror movies, scary movie, you know, not scary, movie, scream, you know, sh stuff like that. Uh -huh. But what is I don't. Causing the fluttering? Like, I don't know, maybe... The bird. Check the cage. Um, go go back. Check the cage. I, I did check the cage. You didn't check it hard enough. Hi. The bird cage is locked. And there's a key inside of it. Why can't I break Ho things open? Hopefully it's not locked with the key that's hanging inside <laughs> of it, because that would suck. That'd just be the biggest <clears throat> fuck you. No, if... Like, if you find out that this key unlocks this birdcage. Now, a, a, a long-standing joke that that I've I've had since uh, the days of the um, the original Resident Evil is if I were ever to design a, a horror game in the vein of Resident Evil, I would want to have a room somewhere where it's like there's like a window, mm -hmm. a bulletproof glass window that you can see into, and inside that room you can clearly see that it's like the armory and there's like the infinite ammo rocket launcher is in there, but then you can also see that the key to the room okay, is so sitting on the room. floor inside the room and you can't get to it. And just drive you nuts because there has to be some way okay. that I can get that key. Yeah, but no. So I'm gonna figure out, I need to find a spigot that will turn that on and shoot the key out then I'll take that key and go across to the bird cage and get that key and go somewhere else. Unless. But it turns out, but it turns out that the key in the bird cage is the one that you need to get the the faucet spigot to turn on the spigot to get to the bird cage. Clearly, Jamie has solved the entire game now. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, I think she gets a pair of pliers to it's pull that key out, but keys, I don't remember man. for sure. I don't know. It's, we're we're entering convoluted puzzle time. Creepy fuck yeah. Seems, yep. Fuck you. Wherever you fucking are, you little cunt! Jamie's uh, just having all sorts oh, of fun. Oh, well, and, and something that's going to be really funny um, at some point soon is she's going to get to a point... You remember those little ghost babies? Phallic? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I think Phalic? at this point in the game, they actually start attacking you. Oh. So that, um, that's going to be... And you can't attack those okay. back, right? So that I don't remember if you can door. attack them back. I usually just run away from them, uh, so... Okay. 
I'm curious. Let's see what this puzzle is. It's a clock. Am I on time? Yeah, this is the puzzle. Ah! This is the puzzle gauntlet. This entire last act of the game is just nothing but puzzle after puzzle after puzzle and key after key after key. I have a fucking pickaxe! Why can't I break this fucking glass? All right. That was loud even for us sitting in the room. Yeah, I'll have to normalize that. Thank you, Jamie. Um... Yeah, I, I, I have to imagine. You know, I haven't I haven't played this myself. You know, for the, in a while. You know, this years and years and years since the first time I played this. But I have to imagine that this area of the game is super unsettling because of all of these puzzle things that it's introducing to you, but not letting you solve yet. Every single room, it's like there's a new puzzle, and you have to find out which puzzle leads to the next puzzle. Right. Yeah. It's it's got to be so flustering for first time players nesting puzzles yeah just puzzle after hey, this puzzle this kind of looks puzzle. like that room yeah, this is this is the the antique shop room where there was the the hole in the wall and then harry did the whole like no woman let me go first except it wasn't really that bad i it, it's just but it, it can easily be misconstrued yeah it, 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 yeah it totally could we had a we had a whole conversation about that yeah the Sybil wants to go through the hole in the wall and then Harry's like no I'll go and it's like are, are each of these rooms going to be like a key room that has been in the game like pretty much yeah like uh we're gonna get one uh, of the that's the basement of the school or like pretty much yeah every oh single boy every nice. single room that you're gonna go into at this point is gonna be familiar Now, something that is also an interesting bit of trivia is that the um, the parasite thing that was infecting Sybil is, as far as anyone can tell, the same parasite thing that's in infecting these nurses. But I'm pretty sure that you cannot use the Agleophotus on the nurses. If you didn't use it on Sybil. Well, the nurses were earlier in the game as well, when we were at the hospital, and they had the same parasitic infection thing. Um, so... Uh, I, I'm I'm really not sure where I fall on the um, on the interpretation of whether or not these are real people who are infected by a parasite, or if like they're just manifestations of nurses with parasites, right? Because mm. there's there's a lot of you know Silent Hill fans. You know, another theory is that all of the monsters in the game are like the real monsters. are like real people. Right, and you just see them as being monsters because of you know magic or whatever. Don't think I'm supposed to go um, there yet. But the nurses in the hospital are are one instance where there's actually some legitimacy to that because they're they are vaguely human looking. Well, they are they are human and they've got a parasite. You know what I mean. And it's the same parasite that you know was on Sybil's back, and you could cure her of that. So that does beg the question. Could these nurses hypothetically be cured too? Are you killing people that could real have been people? Saved. Yeah, or you know, are they just you know, are, or are they just monsters that are manifested the same way that all the other monsters in the game are manifested? Like the baby monsters like and the weird lizard thing. Yeah. And... Hold on, was that a picture of Jesus on the cross? I don't think it was. So I was going to say, Jamie has not looked at the, the desk, the lone desk in the middle of the room. Go home, <laughs> thief. Drop dead. She must not have been a very popular student at this school, huh? Either that or Jamie just didn't understand what to do here. Clearly, you have to go into your inventory and take the item that makes you pretend to be dead. <laughs> it's like... um. I don't. I, I've never played Metal Gear Three, but um, yep. Oh God, Snake Eater. Oh, where where? Just sorry, I just jizzed in my pants a little bit. <laughs> just thinking about it. Snake Eater is is up there with Silent Hill Two as one of my favorite games ever. Silent or Snake Eater is so. We should do that on the branch I, at some point. I would like to. Like, um, it, it's I, hard. It's hard to do. Metal, think of doing Metal Gear games. Oh, I love Snake Eater just, so just much. Just because, um, like some of the other games that we're doing right now, they're a bit longer, and it's going to be yeah. a lot to get through. Especially, never cons going to consider doing Metal Gear Four. No, that's its own. No, if if, if we're if we're going to do, if you're going to play one Metal Gear Solid game, Snake Eater 
is the game to play. Snake Eater 3? Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake I would Eater. like to. I've played one Metal Gear game, and that was the first one, and I actually rather enjoyed it. Yeah, no, I mean, the, they're all good, right? Even even Metal Gear Solid 4 is good. It's just yeah, really, it's, it's, it's really stupid, silly, campy, schlocky nonsense. Well, I'm not saying, like, it's bad or anything. Yeah. Because it'd be really hard to do 4 in a Let's Play format because... Um, from what I remember of the Yahtzee, like, yeah. review of the game, it's, like, literally an hour and a half Me from Metal pressing Gear... play to actually getting control of the character. Right, there, there's that, and Metal Gear Solid 4 also has lengthy cutscenes between chapter breaks, and then the game prompts you to save between chapter breaks. So, there is a point in the game, I think it is between chapters 3 and 4, where there is about an hour and a half worth of cutscene, followed by a prompt to save followed by another hour of cutscenes, followed by a prompt to save, followed by a mission briefing for the next chapter before you finally get to play more of the game. So it's like a whole feature-length film I mean, gets crammed into cutscenes with, you know, like one or two prompts to save in the middle. So. I mean, it's Kojima. He's fucking... Right, that's it's Kojima that did yeah. that. Yeah, it's Kojima. He's really into doing things a different way. Yeah, that's probably the best way to. Play. Uh, if if there's going to be any video game maker who qualifies as an auteur, it is Hideo Kojima. Auteur. Auteur. You don't know what an auteur is? I mean, maybe. Let's go. I've never actually okay, heard just that term. In the wrong position. Um. Okay. Let me see if I can figure out how to define auteur. It's like a. Okay. Like, it, it's a person who, like, their singular vision, like, creates a work of art, mm. right? So, like, you know, in, in terms of, um, of movies, you know, like, uh, I think Quentin Tarantino is often considered an auteur because Quentin Tarantino has his own they, very... They redefine, like, genres Yeah, he has styles. his... Well, and he has a very unique, distinctive... Style and, and Hideo Kojima is like that yeah. too. Where if you you play a Hideo Kojima game, you know it's, it's a, a Hideo. Hideo Kojima game. You know it does not have to have his name on it, and it certainly doesn't have to have his name on it at the start of every freaking mission, Metal Gear Solid Five, because you know it's a Hideo Kojima game. Okay, so that's not it. Let me just speed things up just a little bit. Jamie, if you recall, one of the doors said that name right, on Right, but I'm trying to also, you have a screwdriver for first. I think you do use the screwdriver on the clock, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe you use or maybe the screwdriver you... on the bird. Uh... You pester the bird, and then it cuts the, the key off, and then you get the key to open the bird cage. I am pretty sure Wait, you're I supposed to use the screwdriver, screwdriver on the clock. On the clock. I'm not sure if I'm doing wrong in the wrong position for it or I am fairly confident the screwdriver should be used on the clock. Um okay. So PT there, was no Hideo Kojima, right? Forward. Like yes. most Peace. like for the most part behind what yes. that And there are some crazy conspiracy theories out there uh for for how that game may have gotten made. Um, like if they actually continued it, or no, no, no. Uh, there's um, uh, um, a, a YouTuber um, named Fungo who has a video on it that basically speculates that Kojima used connections at Sony mm. to get PT released without Konami's approval or so knowledge. Mm. That, the, that the that the PT demo was made by some internal team that was supposed to be working on Metal Gear Solid 5 that mm. thought they were making some kind of like G dream or nightmare sequence for Metal Gear Solid 5 um, in order to video. to you know fool the the execs and the suits at Konami and then Kojima just released it by hit by himself like as some elaborate conspiracy to prove to Konami that this game concept would work Oh, hell no. <laughs> and to basically get himself fired so he could finally get away from having to do Metal Gear Solid games and could go make his own stuff again. Uh, it's a really complicated theory. It's very convincing. I don't entirely buy it because I'm not a conspiracy theory kind of person. But um, it's, it's, it's an excellent video. I highly recommend 
um, I mean, checking it out at some point. There's there's also the whole thing. I remember hearing about this. I have no idea how true it is that apparently one of the games that he, that he developed, he had them put like blood or something on the cartridges or something. Um. So that way it would make a smell and make you uncomfortable while the cartridge burned. I you know while the cartridge heated up. I, I'm not aware I, of anything like that. I don't know how true that is, but that it certainly sounds Hideo Kojima enough. Yeah, I I don't I'm not familiar with that. I don't think that's a um uh a thing. Completely All right, true. So here here we go. This is uh -oh. it. This is this is the puzzle. Okay. This is the puzzle that I've been like basically um hy hyping over. up the entire game long. And uh and I have a feeling Jamie's gonna fall for it because she is focusing on I don't remember what which astrological sign is the two children? Uh Gemini. So now we find out whether or not Jamie knows anything about horoscopes. Or if she's looked at all the pictures in this room because she hasn't. It's a crab. Mm, that would be uh, cancer, right? Yeah. And then... I don't know what that one is. Libra. I want to say Libra, yeah. Okay. Is it cheating if I look up the uh, the uh, order of horoscope signs? I would not consider that cheating. No. Okay, because I'm gonna I'm gonna take a moment. Do Do we want to flag uh, a wipe here real quick just to? Give me just, well, just Jamie a does that, and uh, you, you, maybe as a as a jump out, jump back in. Yeah, maybe. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if like if there's any interesting commentary in the meantime. But yeah, I mean, I'm, well, otherwise it's just flag. Okay. Just like just make sure quick. you're not looking up the solution to the puzzle. Make sure no, you're just, just looking just, up. I am like literally this one just looking up the okay. order of horoscope signs. Okay. Yeah, we might be here a while. I'm, I'm just, just that first image result is exactly the same pictures that they're fucking using. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like they're common. I'll uh, make a note to um, okay. to get that image. Horus image. All right. So is is Jamie I'm playing sorry. now? Or are we are we back? Oh no! I'm just you know just leaving the option open that okay. you know we might not have actually jumped there. Um, but I will say that Jamie is back now though. All right. So so we'll uh, see how how interesting. Ameris, it sounded. yeah. What do you think the solution to this puzzle is? Um, I don't know because I'm trying to look at like. I want to know what that green plaque says. Okay. That's your reward for solving it. You, oh, get, the, okay. you get the plaque. Sagittarius. Um, because I feel like I would fall for it too. Yeah, I think everybody does. It's like I can't really see what it's supposed to mean. Like, I can't get into. I'm not like in a super head like puzzle solving headspace right now. But I'm telling you, it's so it's so easy. Like you are going to feel so stupid when when we get the actual solution. Is, is it like a labeling of things like one, two, and three? Uh, it, no, it's dumber than that. Yeah, it's. Because the the pictures on the sides don't do anything, right? It's just those three. In the middle, yeah. Correct. You've got to push the three buttons based on which symbol is there. 
So there's a bunch of plaques. So one of the things that you should notice is that um, even if she, she reads the four of them that are numbered, mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that she should find is that they're not in the correct order. The numbers that are underneath the things are not do not order. correspond to where you would expect that on the that sign thing. to be. Yes, in the in the um, horoscope calendar. But are they in like a similar order? No. Not at all. Uh, this puzzle has nothing whatsoever to do with astrology or horoscopes. Okay, so it's we're just starting a mess with you. It is, it is a red herring. Aries is four. And it is... That would make Taurus five. So... I, I mean, I'm not going to let this drag on for too long. <laughs> um, because literally, I had, a, I, and I, I had a friend. I played this game once with her before. And, and she's really big into occultism. And astrology. and astrology and stuff like that and I kid you not for like an hour or so like she was pulling out like textbooks on occultism and black magic and astrology and horoscopes Surprise. and was like mm -hmm. like trying to look up like oh is it like some old school calendar right that's not the modern calendar like because you know it's been revised a few because times. you know because since the Gregorian calendar and stuff like that well it, but it's also the, the 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 horoscopes have changed like even recently like uh, like sometime in like the 2000s I think there was a big thing where like one of them like changed by a couple days um, or something. I don't maybe. remember. I don't remember the exact details behind it. I but think they've always been twentieth to twenty or twenty first to twentieth. Yeah. Well, I think. there was a story like sometime in like the the two thousands or the twenty tens, you know, where like some horoscope date changed, right? Because they realized that uh, like the I don't know the measurements weren't accurate or like maybe or the the um the they probably had to do with or the constellation had actually like changed its position in the sky or something like that because it had been like a friggin millennia since this stuff was made um but anyway so yeah so I, i'm playing the game with my friend and i swear she spent at least an hour like literally looking through textbooks at, and stuff at the like very that. least a very considerable <clears throat> amount of Time. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm sitting in the room, you know, on on the bed, Knowing like the kind of like laughing at, at, at myself, and I'm like, do you, I'm like, do you want me to? Do you want help? Do you want a hint? You know, things like that. And she's like, no, 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 I want to figure it out, and and I'm just sitting there like like, because <laughs> it's what this is gonna be one of those puzzles. Just where like you, no, but but just, but look look it, it, the, the the trick is wait okay, pictures. So is look at the pictures. Hang on. Hold, wait. Ooh. No. I don't. Hopefully, Jamie goes back and, and looks at the pictures again, uh, so you can you can see what they all look like. But this this is gonna be one of those things where it's like after you figure it out, you're just gonna hit yourself on the head. Yeah, you do. Everybody does. I, 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 I imagine like it's probably something like 90% of first time Silent Hill players go on the oh, internet, okay. go on the internet and have to find, because uh, even when I played this game for the first time, I had to go onto GameFAQs and find the solution. I didn't figure this out the first time. Wait a minute. Um, Is that Aries or Capricorn? That's gotta be and this game cool. came out in, I want to say 98 or 99. So... I mean, the internet certainly wasn't ubiquitous back then. So I imagine there were plenty of players who couldn't figure it out and were literally just, Wait. like, had to put in every single combination oh of numbers. Oh, my God. I just figured it out. You think you figured it out? Yes. Yeah? What? Oh, my God. Okay. What? What? what what's the solution? Oh, well, next time... <laughs> hold on. Next time Jamie goes to the buttons, we'll, we'll see if... I'll see I'll, if you've I'll got it. I'll just say numbers and... Yeah, I'll, we'll see if you've got it next um, time she goes to the buttons. My God, it's so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Isn't it? If if it is what I think it is, it's so I, dumb. I know it's. Oh, it's so. But but isn't it? It's the. It's I, clever. The it's, red. The red I'll herring. Give it that. The it's the that? red herring it can't is be that. so. Yeah. Okay, so, hold on. Um, Hold on, I'm gonna try some shit here. Jim, Jamie might have just figured it out um, too. So what's the answer one, two, here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jamie's all yeah, right. got it. Yep. <clears throat> Jamie, it looks like you both got it. So we're not gonna be here all night, and all I'm right. not gonna have to spoil this for for you all. All right. 
What's the answer? Four. Four. Because that one's given. I don't know if I don't, it might be five because I don't know if the tail is counted. Uh, but we'll see. it it might be five. Um, and what's the answer here? Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, six. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now, That's so oh. fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, oh, the zodiac puzzle. That's the puzzle. Yeah, this this puzzle and the um the fourth floor button on the elevator are like two of my favorite moments in this game because they are just so messed up. Okay, what the fuck? It's just there to fuck with you. Uh huh. It, yeah, it's it's so silly. It's like really like that's that's the solution. That's it's a kindergarten puzzle, but it totally tricks you because they use the the horse the oh, symbols oh, and. Fuck you, fuck you. And they totally take advantage of of the, the common that you knowledge. Try to think that. Yeah. Uh, I I have to give them props for that. That is a really well done puzzle. I I I I mean I Fuck cannot. Them, but it's a well done puzzle. I cannot think of another example of a video game puzzle that throws that successful of a red herring. I I just I, I can't. can't either. That's. I mean I but I, you know I haven't played too many games. I like I've never played like any of the Zelda games. Right, no, I know the Zelda games have puzzles, but not like that. I don't know if if Zelda ever does something like that. Never anything like that. Like um, that that was that was a good one. I really enjoyed that, John. I know you're watching. <laughs> you're going to you you really enjoyed that. I wonder. I I want to take bets on how John. You, you, here's what we should do, John. I know you're watching. Jamie. Hold on, John. I know you're watching. Is he, John. Wait, is John watching now? Well, no, mm -hmm. not right now. I'm hold saying on, when on. he watches the episode. Here's what we're gonna do, Jamie. Just, can't, Here's what I want. Here's what I want to do. All right, because I love that puzzle so much. What we should do is don't overwrite your save file for this one. Let's see if John can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that'll work too. Because I was gonna say I wanted to see how long it took John it would take John to figure that out, <laughs> and see if he gets trapped in the zodiac hole. I mean, like uh, when I first tried to solve this puzzle, like I was even reading this thing. I'm wondering if this had something to do with it. I I went back and I looked at that nameplate that had the people's names. And their ages on it, and the numbers. Thinking like yeah. it was it all related somehow, but no, this is a different puzzle, mm -hmm. totally unrelated. Okay. Um, this is another fucking puzzle. I do I don't do as well with word puzzles. Or zodiac puzzles, for that matter. <laughs> she, hey, I at least fucking got that. Yeah, yeah, she she got it. That was actually pretty quick from my experience. <laughs> Like I, I do, I do have it's to the, admit, I absolutely fell into the trap. It's the zero, right? The zero one is the one that is like, what? What the hell? Is zero? I think the zero one is the one where it tips you off. Either that, right. or the two. Well, the, there's the there's the two the two clues, right? The the two big clues are one, you should very quickly stumble onto the fact that they're not in the right order. Yes. It should not take you long to figure out that, and the okay. And that one of them is zero. Right, well, I mean, you might 12. be like, oh, is it starting at zero or something yeah. like that? Like, you know, that was my is January zero and February is one or something like that? But so the two things are it doesn't line up with the months, right? And the other thing is a zero, really? Yeah. So that's yeah. what it's to make you have to think. Um, yes, exactly. Um, Feast of death? If it's... I love it. That, that was. I love it. Oh boy, that, that was a puzzle. Though. That the, the 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 elevator, the hospital elevator, and the zodiac puzzle by them are the two things that make the first Silent Hill worth playing. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and unfortunately, I it, I hope there's nobody watching this who has never played Silent Hill before, because you know obviously that puzzle is now ruined for you. Yeah. Uh, I mean... The the fun is figuring it out the first time um because it's never gonna you know it's never gonna be a, you just walk into that room and you just freaking you don't even need to look at the the clues you just go up and you you push the things okay. um albert lords but yeah the the fourth floor Albert's elevator Albert's and the that yeah so yeah Albert, those are both classic classic moments in this game roberta t morgan it's like i can't i honestly can't think of any puzzle that i've ever seen that tops that though Right, and I mean, it's not like so. It's not it's, overly hard. The the cleverness of the puzzle is the red herring, right? Like, yeah. if if you put any other set of pictures L. on there, you wouldn't even think. 
right? You solve that puzzle like that, mm. right? Wow. But, wow. Okay. But because it's the Zodiac. Duh. Yeah, it's just, it's, oh. What, what Jamie's doing here? I A believe L the code e. is alert. It spells alter! I think it's supposed to spell alert. Try again. <laughs> double double check that list, Jamie. A L Oh yeah. E A L E R T A L A L Bells Alert. Yep. At least you it does. You know what? In my fairness, in, in in all fairness, alter would have been good. Yeah, I, I, I actually good I actually kind of like that better. It should have been alter. Um, although uh, I think that it, you know you would have had to have two A's in there, and that might have gotten I don't know confusing. But um, maybe they they didn't want to do that. Maybe. Uh, but yeah. Um, and now another puzzle. I just. I know I need to go back and get those other keys. Again, you know, something we've been talking about a lot the last episode is that how this section of the game really makes you feel unsettled because you the, you feel like you're it's being pushed... so many puzzles. You feel like you're being pushed forward and you're not finishing the things and you've already... And you want to go and back. You've, and, you, and you know, you, you know, from previous parts of the game that there are points of no return, mm -hmm. right? And you're wondering, like... Okay, are those Where puzzles is that going to be? Are those puzzles required? Like are they maybe optional? Like you you don't know, right? So it's it's very it's very unsettling to play through something like this where you don't know if you're going to get locked out on something. Yeah. You know, maybe one of those keys unlocks the door I'm to the starve, the freaking bazooka, you know? You never know. Wasn't David that was Solomon's? I think that's a, I, I think that's a mistranslation. I think it's it's I mean it's it is the star of David. Yeah. But I think they somebody screwed up in the translation there. <clears throat> I don't know one hundred percent. Maybe Amulet of Solomon is a different thing. I don't know. But uh we we do need to Ooh, wait. Lisa, what's the matter with you? I was about to say we need next time. She's wearing a shawl, she's got one of those parasites on her fucking I'm back. I'm calling it now! I'm not the only one who's still walking around. Hmm. The same as them. Just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. You're evil Stay lobby by me, thing? Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. I'm partially unrendering through the wall. Save me from them. Please. Oh what god, is... this would be such Harry. a more effective scene if their movement wasn't so robotic. She just looks so weird. Yeah. Fortunately, they go into FMV for this. And this music, I love this piece of music. Oh hey, we can actually see her face. Oh, that's unsettling. That's a lot of blood. Okay, then. We're just gonna lock you in there. Lisa. I'm sorry, I'm out of that red stuff. I love the music that plays in the background here so much. This is one of my favorite tunes from the entire series. Like, when I, whenever I play this game, I like to just stand here and listen to it. Kind of weird. Uh, where'd she go? Newspaper on the ground now. Did she say what? Interesting. Hold 
ください。Okay. Well, not the next time on the branch on uh, some heavy shit, but we need to next time. On the